All right, guys, Jersey Jaguar back at you with another video. And today's going to be episode three of a five episode series on how to fold jerseys. Each episode is going to be a different sport, and today it's going to be football. I'm going to start with the preparation, then go straight to the technique. If you guys have any questions along the way, let me know. Guys, keep in mind that there's other techniques on how to fold jerseys. But as I said in the other videos, this is the one I prefer, and this is the one I use the most. All right, guys, so the preparation is simple. Always make sure that you're working on a clean and flat surface. Make sure it's clean. You don't want any pet hair or dirt getting onto your jerseys, especially if you're folding them to self. All right, so we're going to go over what to avoid quickly. Guys, with any jersey, do not fold the front crests, the front numbers, the rear numbers, or any logos, details, or patches on the jersey, okay? So the way I'm going to show you will avoid all those things. Okay, step one is simple. All we're gonna do is take the jersey and flip it so it's back side up. Okay guys, so for step number two, we're gonna take the jersey and we're gonna fold it to this edge of the number. We are not going to fold it past that and increase the number. Only fold it to the edge. You can see right here, I did it on this side. So again, we're taking that jersey, folding it to the edge without overfolding it, increasing it. Your jersey is going to look like this. Okay, guys. So as a second part to step two, this jersey is heat pressed vinyl. If the jersey is heat pressed or screen printed, I recommend it is not necessary, but I recommend you take a piece of acid free tissue paper, which you could get for extremely cheap. I'll put a link in the description. Put it over those numbers. You don't want the jersey getting too hot in whatever situation and it sticks to those numbers causing a mess. Okay guys, step number three, you're going to take the sleeve and make sure that the numbers are not creased and that the jersey is nice and folded evenly like so. This side is already done. Again, all we're doing is taking the sleeve and putting it down like so, okay? Okay guys, step number four. Again, this paper is here as a precaution as I have heat pressed vinyl on this jersey. So step number four. Again, just like with the sides, I'm only going to fold up to the edge of the numbers and I'm not going to fold past that creasing the jersey, okay? So I'm taking the bottom and just going up to where the numbers are and bringing it across. If need be, if you have too much material, fold once then fold to the same spot, okay? If you have too much material on the bottom. Okay guys, in step 4B, all I'm going to do is follow the same step as the bottom and fold the top over. We have this, and now when I flip it around, look at that. Nice, even jersey. If you need to, tuck the, ins tuck the sides in a little bit. All right, time for a quick recap. So back of the jersey, facing up. Only if you have heat pressed vinyl or silk screen numbers, I'm gonna put a piece of acid free tissue paper. I'm gonna take one side of the jersey, fold it to the edge of the numbers. Take the other side of the jersey, fold it to the edge of the numbers. I'm gonna take the sleeve, fold it down. Take the sleeve, fold it down so the numbers are increased. I'm gonna take the bottom of the jersey, fold it up to the rear edge of the number. Take the top of the jersey, fold it over, flip the jersey around, making sure nothing's creased, not creased, I should say, and we're done. All right, and we finished quick. Guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, again, let me know. If you want to see me do another video, let me know in the comments. I'll see you at the next one.